Um, so last time we talked about linear function, right? The least you can get out of the linear function is y equal mx plus b, right? That's the least you remember. Um, if m is positive, then the function is increasing. If m is negative, then function is decreasing. m is zero means it's a horizontal graph. If m is undefined, means what? Vertical graph, right? Well, let's think of it, you can't ski on a vertical graph. Right? Maybe some people, crazy people can, but not me. Um, we, 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 we learn how to construct a linear function given information, right? Um, there's many ways I can give you information. I can give you two points like this. I can, uh, I can give you a slope and then it's passing through a random point or I can just give you a slope and an intercept. That would be the easiest case, right? Um, but on the exam, probably gonna see something like more like these two. That's too easy. You wonder where this function come from, this equation come from, that just come from the slope equation. You, you don't, uh, if you forget about it, I suggest you, you review about it. It may come up again later. Mm -hmm. uh, we did story problems using linear function. Um, for number 10, I didn't do it last time in class, but um, I put an answer key here for you, okay? Um, it's very similar to number nine. We did this one, the uh, exercise problem. All right, let's continue number 12. <laughs> this one. If you're choosing two plans at a discount warehouse, plan F offers an annual membership of $100. So that's a fixed amount of dollar that you gotta pay, right, to membership. And you pay 80% of the manufacturer recommended uh, list price. Plan G is offer the annual membership of $40, but you pay 90% of whatever the price they got. Less X equal the cost of merchant, um, the merchandise during that year. We want to express the total year amount pay using the plans F and the plan G. Um, F and G, that's your function. So function of what? Of X, right? F of X, G of X. So we want to know what is F of X, what is G of X. Uh, can someone come up one for me? Is the, the, the how much money you pay for the company and F of X is the total amount per year. So the first one, F of X, would be what? Say the first company offer plan F and you pay $100 fix for membership and then 80% for the uh, list price. So first one I can come up with is what? Um, $100, which is your fixed price, right? Um, I'm sorry, your fixed price. Uh, amount of money that you pay and then and then 0.8x does that make sense so for every merchandise you pay 80 percent two one merchandise 80 percent of the money merchandise two merchandise is two times 0.8 three times 0.8 all the way to x times 0.8 and then 0.8x um someone else come up with the plan g <clears throat> Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, g is g of x equal 0.9x plus $40. You're done. That's it. That's all they want. That's all they want. The two functions. How many dollars of merchandise would you have to purchase in a year to pay the same amount under both plans? Now, if you graph this, um, if you graph this, and I have to share my screen so that people from Zoom can see. Okay. 
is more often. You know what graph this? Uh, y equal was a hundred. Uh, was a point eight plus one hundred, and then another one is y equal um point nine. I'm sorry, point eight x. Otherwise, just a constant function. Point nine x plus forty. Okay. There you go. Um, that's a weird function. Did I need something wrong? No? No, I don't want anything wrong. No, I'm okay. So um, in order to, for them to have the same total amount, I mean same height, right? Same y function, they had to intersect each other. So that's when you set both of them equal to each other, each other. Um, so I'm going to set point A X plus one hundred equal to point nine x plus forty subtract forty both sides. Let's cancel. Okay. Um I'll do slowly. It's, it's, later on I might not, but now I'll just do it slowly. Point eight point ax plus sixty right? uh subtract point ax Let's cancel. So I have x um point one x equal let me keep it in red to be consistent. Point one x equal what sixty divide both side by point ones. X equal what? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Six hundred. What should I what should I put for my unit? Hmm. Dollars of fortune bonds, right? Dollars. Um six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollar worth of merchandise. So far so good. I I I think the math is not difficult. It's what what difficult is to understand the problem, right? I think that's most of us uh, encounter, like understand the problem before we actually answer it. Um, all right, move on to objective four. We're gonna, I'm just gonna do number 13, number 14, you do on your own. The area of a triangle, any triangle, it, it doesn't have to be a, a right triangle, meaning one of the corner is 90 degree. So for any, any right triangle, Oh, I'm sorry. Any triangle, any any arbitrary triangle, um, your 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 formula is a equal one half base times height. B is base, h is height. For rectangle or parallelogram, is the area is just the width times the length. Here they use a b h. Um, I, I use width and length. Is that okay? W and L. I I thought it's just more. Into this. So let's grab this. Uh, number 13, they want you to find a triangle that, that is bounded by the x axis. So the x axis is, is this one. That's your x axis. And we will use the rulers to make it straighter. 
And what else? It bounded by something else. It bound, the line at the left equal negative one half plus five. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna use rise over run to graph this one. So number five is the y the set, right? So that's when x equals zero, y is five. So right here. Um, rise over run. One half, the the one half here, the, the one half, um the negative one half here tell you what? Go down how many units? One and go over two, right? If it's negative, you go down, if it's positive, you go up. So here in this case is decreasing. So I'm gonna go go, I'm gonna go down first. So go down one and then go over two. And there's your new one. There's your new one. I'm gonna connect. You only need two points to, to graph a line. So all you do is connect two dots. You can extend it, but I don't think we need to. Um, what else? What else? It's also, it's also um, bounded by the line the perpendicular to f of x. All right. So um, the line the perpendicular to, to the black line. You know, if you do this at home, you can check with your vessels. Okay, so the, 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 the triangle, the area of the triangle that we're looking for is bounded by those three lines, which is this one, right? Yes? That one. We know the area is um, one half base times height. Move it over here. Just a reminder. Do we have a hop? Do we have a height? Yeah, we have a height, right? It's roughly four, four units. Uh, do we have a base? Oh, I'm sorry, they ask you can find the equation of a line first. Um, equation of a line, they want you to find the, I'm sorry, I, I was kind of, I just be, I got ahead of myself. Um, let, let's do A first. I, I want to find the equation that perpend, the equation of a line that perpendicular to f of x, the blue line. Notice f of x equal negative one half x plus five. If the, the line, if the equation of a line that we're looking for perpendicular to that black line, then the slope has to be what? Two, right, very good. So the root slope is equal to opposite reciprocal. Do we have do we have um do we have y intercept? Do we have y intercept? Yeah, so it passed it's a passing through the origin. So so that means here is zero zero. Right? So zero zero that implies b equal zero. That's zero. Oh, no 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 zero five is for the black one. We want the blue one. In this case, y is also zero, right? Remember the y is for what have what formula? I'm gonna bring this so let me record. Um, zero comma b, right here b is zero. So. so if you plug it in, if you plug it in from the two information, uh, f of x. Well, I I will, I will call it g of x equal um two x. Plus zero, just just two x. Okay. 
Oh, I, I I got ahead of myself all the way to C though, not B. All right. Um, find the point where the line intersect. Find the point where the lines intersect. So they want to find the point where. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, do you want to continue? Oh, what am I sharing here? Am I sharing this right? Yeah, I'm not sharing this. Okay. Uh, g of x is mx plus b. Two for n. Uh, it's a passing the through the origin. Um, so the blue line, the one that we're looking for, the one that I draw there, is perpendicular to the black line, and it's also passing through the origin. Origin is zero zero, right? What is what is the what, how do how do you find the y intercept? Zero comma b, right? Well, it's zero, zero. So we better be zero. Uh, that's not your y intercept. That's, that's the y intercept of the black line. Uh, if, if you could view, if you look at the picture, so the blue light goes through the file. So, so information has to match what you try to explain. All right, where the points, um, so they want you to find that black point right there, where blue line and black line intersect. Um, what do you have to do? We just did it. We set them equal, right? Remember, where they intersect, they have the same height. They have the same height, so that's where the two function equal. Functions are your height, right? So you set them equal. So um, um, I, I set negative one half x plus five. That's the f of x. It gotta be equal to the blue one, which is two x. And then you solve. Subtract by both sides. I have negative one half x equal. 2x minus 5. So far, so good. I want to solve for x. So I have to multiply everybody by what? Negative 2 over 1, right? Negative 2 over 1. So you distribute that negative 2 over 1 to everyone. On the left-hand side, that's just x. On the right-hand side, was negative 2 times 2x? Uh, hang on, something. Oh, I, I, I uh... sure, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine like that. Uh, negative 4x. And then negative 2 times negative 5 is plus 10. I didn't have to do that step, but that's all right. Add 4x both side. Or rather, I want to use this like that. Then I have 5x equal 10, x equal 2. Are we done here? No, don't stop, right? You don't, you need two coordinates, x and y. We got x, we gotta find y. What should I plug in x for to find y? Or does it matter? It shouldn't be matter, right? You can plug into the, the, to, to the, 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 the f of x or in g of x. It doesn't matter. They equal, right? They equal. So I'm gonna plug into the blue one because it look like so um so y equal um two times two yeah maybe I'll do this I'll use blue which is equal four so your final answer will be two comma four. Do you understand this part? If somebody else used the black function, say this one,
y equal negative one half x plus pi and x is two. So what we look, negative one half times two is negative one, negative one plus five is four. Get the same thing, right? You should have the same answer. That's why I say you can pick any function you like. They, they both, in the beginning, we set them equal, so they equal. Do you have any question for this one? Yes. Uh, I want to get rid of I want to get rid of the two in the bot in the denominator. Mm -hmm. If there's many ways of doing this, like I said, I kind of have an extra step where I sh I don't have to, um, but yeah. But yes, whenever you have a, a fraction, try to eliminate the denominator. Find the triangle, that's your you try. I'm not posting the, the purple part on, on Moodle because I'm going to use it next, next semester. Uh, I don't want people to know the you try, but uh, you um, so write down on your, on your thing. You try number two. Um, this is 911 from last time. Okay. Don't do it now, you won't be able to access it now. I do it on purpose. Um, do it at home, you have until tonight. Until like midnight or so, 11.55 I think. Yay, we finished. Uh, um, this one you do your, on your own, number 14. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna move on to the, the other lecture, otherwise we're gonna keep falling behind. <laughs> um, today, we're gonna talk about the domain and range of a function. And there's another special function we're gonna talk about is piecewise function. Let me do this. Um, 